guys, today we have one of the most hyped sneakers of this entire year. And according to, I kid you not, a ton of recommendations, the most comfortable sneakers I have ever put on my feet. So let's get into this, starting with this box. So one day I freaking forget my knife. We got no pull tab. Just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Who needs a knife? So this is a pair of sneakers that I have been looking forward to trying out for a very long time now. So I saw these things before they're gonna have their retro here in 2024, and I was like, damn, if these things came back, that would be super cool. And now they are. Okay, this is the New Balance 1000. Very, very retro design. Like these things feel like you're in the 2000s. Pull them both out. Get an extra pair of laces, which is nice. So here we have them. This is a pretty interesting shoe because this midsole is actually a lot softer than I was expecting. You know, with a lot of these, you know, older retro style runner shoes, a lot of the times the midsoles are pretty stiff. This one is surprisingly soft. I guess I kind of could have expected that with New Balance. I mean, they're a big thing on comfort. Either way, it's cool that you get an extra pair of laces, which are a different style to the ones that are on here. You've got like the regular oval shape, and then these ones are slightly a little bit more round, ropey style. I just kind of want to see what they feel like on foot. So I'm just going to slide my foot into these things and test them out. Okay, very tight. Quite a narrow toe box as well. Pretty strange, I mean, they fit. Maybe you would wanna go a half size up if you were, you know, someone who had wider feet. Pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. They feel pretty cool on foot. I like the design. Um, I feel like just, you know, all of the paneling and everything looks really nice. Maybe this colorway is a little bit crazy, but I think it looks pretty dope. How much can you see on foot? You know, terrible outfit, but here we go. New Balance 1000. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Uh, and also, if you do wanna see a review on these, let me know and uh, we'll test them out. And as far as a release for these, they should be dropping, I believe, April the 24th. All right, we've got a big heavy box with a couple pairs inside at least. Who needs a freaking knife? Actually, I'm gonna set this down. Okay, this one I'm pretty excited about. I mean, does this look like your regular sneaker packaging? Ain't no way. I don't know if everybody adds bubble wrap, but that's quite nice. Oh, this is so freaking sick. I love this. This is the Adidas TMNT Shell Toe. What a perfect collaboration. They did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collab on a pair of Shell Toe. Can you get a more obvious collaboration? The packaging is where they go extra hard because it's kind of like, you know, something you would get at a store. Like they've literally got the little thing that you would hang it on those little metal rack, whatever you call those things. Like something you would get an action figure in. So you just slide this bottom part out. This is pretty cool. It's all like, you know, comic book style. Look at the back over there. You've got the size tag. Dope packaging. This is so insane. What do you do? Just pop this off. Okay. Nice little plastic thing. And here you have the pair of sneakers themselves. Let me get them both out. What the hell was that? You got some stuff in there? What is this? Okay, that just went everywhere. Let me put this down. So this, I believe, is a bunch of little metal dubrays. You got a little mask thing in red. Same thing, obviously, for the other pair of shoes. And then you've got a little R for Raphael, I believe. And then, oh yeah, an L, an M, and a D. There you go, little gold ones that kind of look like rings. That's pretty sick. I'll uh, pop these back inside and then you get like, you know, the sneaker hang tag thing. That is pretty dope, nice packaging. So the sneakers themselves, you've got the little red Dubre mask on the front. It's a nice colorway, just straight up green like a turtle with the red on there. And the material is really funny because it kind of, you know, replicates like a turtle skin. So it has like all of these organic, you know, grooves in there. To, you know, it looks a little bit elephanty, which is pretty cool. And then you get a ton of extra laces, at least two different options. You've got red and green, and then you've got the white ones on there. Man, the details on here are crazy. Like, there's even a bunch of pattern on the inside of the shoe. Like, not just the insole, but the literal sidewalls of the sneakers. There's patterns that match the insoles, which, if I can pull this out, I'll give you a little look. This is what is on the entire inside of them. Damn, okay, look, <laughs> yo! On the strobal board, on the inside, you've got a city sewer, like a little manhole, which is hilarious. That's so cool. So that's underneath the insole. So people who buy this thing, you could just like investigate and I'm sure find like a ton of hidden details because the reverse of the insole also has the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the comic books over there. That looks absolutely insane. And then on the other side, obviously like, you know, pizza design, which is pretty sick. Man, anybody who's like a huge fan of TMNT is gonna freaking love these things. But like a turtle shell design on the shell toe instead of, you know, the lines. That's pretty sick. And then a gum outsole. I think this is gotta be 
one of the coolest collaborations of this year so far. Like insanely detailed, a collaboration that makes a ton of sense as well. I'm surprised they haven't done one like this already. I mean, here we go, 2024, very, very sick. All right, next up, we got a pair of threes that released, I believe a couple days ago. I really wanted to see this colorway. Okay, here we have the Jordan 3 Glow Green. Leather is pretty nice. I guess it's somewhat similar to like what we're probably going to find on uh, the upcoming J Balvin pair. Like it's super, super blacked out, like matte black, which is a nice look on a pair of threes. But yeah, this pair of threes is basically based off of the Jordan 4 Green Glow colorway. Are we getting a retro of those this year because there's a ton of Green Glow sneakers dropping. Like we got the threes, we got the ones that I think are upcoming or they just dropped. It kind of makes sense if we do get a retro of those. Got a decently soft feeling suede on the tongue. You've got the Jumpman branding in that, you know, I guess you would say like some kind of tealish green color, maybe a Tiffany type color. Reverse of the tongue, exactly the same as well as the insole. These are pretty dope. I'm liking these. It's just a solid colorway that I feel like you could probably get at a discount very, very soon. Let me know what you think of these. Did you go for them? Did you pass? Drop your thoughts down in the comment section. All right, this one's going to be very interesting. It's from a brand that I have never bought from before. I've got no idea how good these are going to be, but uh, so many people told me to get them and try them out. After like the fifth person, I was like, geez, okay, fine. I'll try them out. <laughs> This is from Arcteryx, which uh, I'm sure you guys remember from the people in the showers, you know, those videos. Sounds terrible, it's, it's rain jacket. Okay, so this right here is the Arcteryx Crag. So uh, they definitely have a pretty crazy look to them, but hey, let's let's give them a shot. There's uh, really not much to them at all. You've got like a knit, somewhat stretchy upper, particularly in the center there. And they feel, I mean, they feel pretty nice on the inside side like maybe this midsole yeah wow okay whoa look at this that's probably where most of the comfort is coming from just almost like a barefoot shoe or like a freaking yeah it's something that just is like a sock with an outsole it's a really nice material as well i wonder what this is all right let's just slide my feet in these i definitely understand what you guys were talking about they look so like you know simple i mean obviously i'm wearing like freaking white socks they're not gonna look the best there you have it like super simple a pair of pants would definitely make these things look better they are super lightweight they're nice because they don't have any laces this insole is incredible that feels super nice i wish all my shoes had this yeah i'm pretty surprised these things feel pretty great i feel like i would you know i'd have to wear them around for a lot longer to actually give you guys a solid answer on like where these line up in terms of shoes comfortability. I'm gonna test these things out for a little bit. I'll give you guys an update at some point, but this is a surprising pair of shoes that I've never tried before, but I'm liking them. And the design is not bad. Like it's just super minimal. It's almost like a freaking, it's almost like the Yeezy Pots. Just super, you know, just simple. Final pair, these things feel pretty heavy. Um, These are, yeah, the biggest release of this year, at least so far. All right, here we have the box, just a regular Jordan 4 box, and you've got, you know, the speckling around the sides. That is nice. Man, I'm so hyped to see these things. Okay, here we have the military blue Jordan 4. Damn, okay, so like a little bit, little bit strange in terms of the color. Okay, so immediately you can tell like the upper is not white. It is uh, a grayish color. Definitely different to what I was expecting. I've never had a pair of military blues before and these are supposed to be as true to the OGs as possible. So you do have, you know, the Nike branding and everything, which is pretty dope. So I guess the closest comparison was the colorway based off of this, which was the military blacks. And you can see like there's a pretty significant color difference there, not just in color, but also material. Look at the toe box. This feels more like a new bug. And then this feels more like an actual suede, which is uh, a little bit rougher. Recently shocked raw on the Nike sneakers app, a ton of pairs. Apparently it's gonna be impossible to take an L. That's what people are saying. There's gonna be close to a million pairs and anybody who wants them is gonna be able to get them. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, it's a really, really nice colorway. Um, if I had to like, you know, nitpick, I wouldn't mind a little bit of a brighter blue. This being a little bit more subtle makes them a lot more wearable, I guess. It definitely feels like a material that is somewhat different to other regular Jordan 4 leathers. Even different compared to these, which is pretty nice. Like this just feels a little bit more durable. 
um, less creasy. Like, look, if I crease them, you could see the, you know, the difference there. Yeah, we're not going to get into too much detail because I am going to do a full review for you guys so you'll be able to see them, you know, on foot with an outfit, all of that good stuff. The new release date is now going to be May the 4th, at least for you guys out in the US. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be delayed for EU, UK. They haven't loaded up, so we're not entirely sure, but I would definitely expect another round of exclusive access or a shock drop before the main release. But I need to know from you guys, are you going to be going for the military blues or are you passing? Um, I probably am guessing that you're going to go for these things. Let me know down in the comment section, but uh, that is all of the boxes. And if you want to catch another video, just click over there. YouTube's recommending this one to you, so uh, I recommend it as well.